Hi there, Physics Boss Man coming back at you. A merry-go-round accelerating uniformly from rest achieves its operating speed of 2.5 RPM in five revolutions. What is the magnitude of its angular acceleration? With God's help, you can do physics, physics. a boss as you are created. You are created in God's image. To be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue. Do it. Okay, to interpret the problem, we want to draw a picture. And so this is a top view. And so we'll just uh, put the merry-go-round go around in that direction. Uh, omega final, and this is a uh, not a W, it's the Greek lowercase omega, and that's uh, 2.5 RPM. And omega final is five revolutions. Omega initial is zero, and we know that because it started from rest, and theta initial we're going to define to be zero, so it goes from zero to five revolutions in the process of spinning up. Uh, alpha is a symbol for angular acceleration and that's the unknown in the problem. And the principle here is rotational kinematics. Alright, so to develop our bullet point plan God has crowned you, 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 with glory and honor. Honor to rule, rule over his creation, creation, creation. We're going to convert omega final to radians per second. We're going to convert theta final to radians. Then we're going to consider kinematic equations. Uh, in other words, back when we studied linear kinematics, you know, x initial, x final, b initial, b final, that kind of stuff, the, ki the regular kinematic equations, we developed a system of equations that works really well for that, and so there's rotational analogs uh, for those rotational uh, for the kinematic equations. And so once we, uh, then we can solve the ro ro rotational equation. So this is the rate, rotational kinematic equation without the time for alpha. And why do we know, remember there are three kinematic equations. There's the one for position, the one for velocity, and then there's the kinematic equation without the time. And since we're not given the time and we're not asked for the time, it's the rotational kinematic equation without the time that's of interest here. All right, now evaluate. Science is a gift from God. To help us master nature. But sin added thorns and thistles. Requiring the sweat of your brow to succeed. All right, so go ahead and convert omega final, right? It's given as uh, 2.5 rotations per minute. And here we're writing the units out carefully because in our unit conversion we're going to change the units. One minute is equal to 60 seconds, so that's a conversion factor that's convenient. And now uh, we want to get rid of rotation, so we put one rotation in the denominator and in the, unit, in the numerator we put 2 pi radians because we want radians per second and we want to get rid of uh, rotations. So when you go ahead and you multiply out that expression there, you get 0 0.2618 radians per second. And I know we don't need that many significant digits in our final answer, but sometimes in intermediate steps, it uh, prevents rounding errors from compounding if you write down one or two extra significant digits. Uh, so uh, theta final is five revolutions. And now we want to convert that to radians, so we multiply by 2 pi radians is 1 revolution, and so the revolutions goes away, so it's 10 pi radians, or, you know, 10 pi is 31.4, blah, blah, if you prefer to write it that way. So, 
Now let's consider the kinematic equations. In other words, in, in the linear world, uh, you have the coordinates x for position commonly, uh, v for velocity, and a for acceleration. In the rotational world, the analogs are theta for angle, omega for angular velocity, and alpha for angular acceleration. So identifying these helps us to remember the rotational kinematic equations. And so we're going to reason by analogy here. If you recall, learning physics often requires prayer as we submit to Jesus Christ as risen, as risen King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In linear kinematics, when you weren't given the time and you weren't asked for the time, oftentimes it was useful to use the kinematic equation without the time, which in the linear world is V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X. Now there's an analogous kinematic equation here. Keep in mind omega is the analog to V. So omega final squared equals omega initial squared plus 2 the analog to acceleration, the angular acceleration, the analog to x is theta. All right. So now, uh, now let's go ahead and, and complete the thought here. We, we're not going to need these equations at this moment, but omega final, just by analogy, is omega initial plus alpha times the time. Uh, this is analogous to the kinematic equation for velocity, and theta final equals theta initial plus omega initial times the time plus one half alpha t squared. And this completes our set of three rotational or angular kinematic equations. Okay, but the one of interest here is this one, so we're going to go ahead and omega final squared is equal to omega initial squared plus 2 alpha delta theta. And keep in mind, omega initial was 0. The unknown is alpha. Theta initial is 0, so delta theta is just the theta final. So solving for alpha, alpha equals omega final squared over 2 delta theta. Plug in the numbers for that, you get uh, 0 0.26 one eight radians per second quantity squared now divided by two times the ten pi radians and let's take some care there so when you punch that into your calculator you get 0 0.001091 and let's take a little care with the units here we have radians per second squared so that's radians squared divided by seconds squared, but then we divide by radians. So that removes one of the radians in the numerator. So the units here are radians per second squared, which is what we were expecting. We reign by surrender. We reign by surrendering to Jesus and praying for our daily bread, which includes success, success in our schoolwork. God will answer and lighten our yoke and the impact of the thorns and thistles in our labor. All right, so let's assess that answer. So we usually talk about three questions when we do an assessment. Think about our units, and we did the math on the units carefully and, and ended up with what we were expecting. We think about the sign, and everything was positive in this problem, so it's not, not surprising that that's positive. What about the magnitude? Is there a way to double check the magnitude? We don't really have a great feeling for that, right? It's kind of a small number. So uh, perhaps an approach we could take would be to compute uh, the final time and then to use the final time to compute uh, the final angular displacement as a double check. Well, yeah, we can approach it this way. Think about alpha, right? It's delta omega over delta t. 
So this enables us to compute the time interval. How much time does it take to spin up? It's going to be delta omega over alpha. Just multiply this and then divide by that. Uh, so if you plug in the numbers there, and it works out that it's going to take 240 seconds to spin up. Hey, that's a nice even number. 240 seconds is 4 minutes. All right, so that's convenient. We recall also that omega final is 2.5 RPMs. Now think about omega average, right? That's omega initial plus omega final over 2. Recall omega initial is zero because it starts from rest. So the average angular speed is 1.25 RPMs. All right, so now we speed, an av our, our average angular speed is 1.25 RPMs for four minutes. So 1.25 rotations per minute for four minutes implies that theta final is five rotations, which is what we were given at the beginning of the problem, so our assessment checks out. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this chance to do physics today in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord God, that we are created in your image, and that we can be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. We can rule over the birds of the air and the beasts of the field and the fish of the sea. We can also rule over our physics and our math by working hard, doing our homework, and asking you for help. We pray in Jesus' name. Word, good, good word is a message from our God Gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom The good life Written in the word, in the good, good word Is a message from our God Gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom